me rude. <laughs> okay, so what's today? August 1st, we are in space 158 uh, in the north end of this space. Feature 629. 629. Um, Contrary to what I have said yesterday, I'm going to contradict myself today. <laughs> uh, uh, yesterday we talked about this floor, the top floor, as being the latest floor in this building, in this part of the building, but that is not so. And we know that it's not so because when we clean the area where the animal pit is and uh, along the wall, we saw that actually the earlier floor of the house, which could uh, easily be the original wall made of red bricks, which we also saw in other places in this space, uh, was down here at this level, roughly. And that all this wall uh, bricks that are built on top of it were a later addition. So these bricks belong to the later addition which is sitting on top of the original wall in this area. And so they are also part of the shoring. But what deceived us is that in, the, in this part of space 158, once the shoring wall was put up, please, please, silence please on the set. What, what deceived us is that the, the later addition of uh, the west wall, the, the shoring of the west wall. Once that happened in this area, they replastered the wall surface, which is something that they have didn't do in the rest uh, of the west wall. So they replastered this area and then continue using the area for the same purpose as before, which is for the storage and for building uh, some sort of bins that we have found here and had taught until today were part of the latest phase of the use of the house. But all these bins, bin remains that we are removing today are actually part of the early, very early use of the house. And, but on top of them, uh, we had the bins that were that belonged to the late use of the house, which we have already removed because their preservation was not so well, and we did not recognize them in time. But we were puzzled by the number of the layers of orange and white uh, plastering and packing, which uh, looked typical for the bin area. Now we know that that's what they were. So in any case, in the late stage of this building, uh, this area was used for storage, for bin storage. And feature, um, and uh, the feature 629 is actually the very early uh, feature in this house. Uh, so uh, the pillar, uh, the northern pillar that is uh, feature 156 that's, that was holding the screen wall is contemporary with this addition of the ensuring of the west wall and it is also sitting on top of all of these earlier layers uh, or levels of floor including uh, this feature 623 which is a little wall, early wall that was separating this storage space from other working areas in this part of the house. So what we, how, the way we are going to proceed about this, we obviously have to remove uh, the shoring or the, the late west wall, which we have in this area in the northern, in the north, and we will strip the, the plasters from the f uh, wall face and then start removing the bricks one by one, uh, trying to follow the situation under that. And uh, keeping the corner intact for now because we need to check how this corner uh, construction was made. It seems that the corner is perfectly fits the original west wall and that's a puzzle if added so to perfectly fit the original corner of the west wall. That's all. Thank you.
Yeah, the the orange feature of V2171 that is more towards the central part of the space 158 is also from an early phase of the house and it also was covered with a shoring wall and here we still have remains of this wall sitting on top of it and we had more of the remains sitting on top of the feature but we had removed them la have removed them last year so the orange feature or feature 171 <coughs> probably was in use at the same time when this floor that I'm sitting on was in use, which was still uh, the early phase of the house. So and in fact, that's like a platform, what you're sitting on. Yeah, it is like, it could be like a platform, right. That's right. The platform on top of which... <laughs> but it's not the same s type of of the platform that we have in Space 86 because all those platforms in 86 are elevated and this is not. This is more like floor surface. But if it's elevated in terms of the earliest floor? Um, yeah, probably. But it's also, you can see it as a recipient because it was it was finishing up against this little wall and stopping there. It was like, you know, it was like fenced on all the side and so then plastered. So like a lip for the platform like over there? I don't think so. No, it doesn't look like a lip, no. But we will talk about it more in the future. And then this, well, as you said, if a basket gets squashed, then um, because they're coarse baskets, you would expect the center around here um, in this orientation. And then if it gets squashed, of course, it sort of might fear off in this way. Um, and then this could be a continuation of that. But yeah. There is very little left yeah, yeah. here to say that. Mm. Right. So for the moment we just say that we find Yeah, we can we can keep those pieces and the the big good for analysis at least to yeah. find out identify the plants. Yeah. Nothing else. And then we'll continue I'm just uncovering sorry. Yes. Just Does it need to be brushed? Are you okay with it? Yes. Okay, what sorry, what we will need is some boxes for the there is Jim with his little blues in. Clean out my ears. Okay, Pedro. August 1st, uh, 2000, we are in space 158 in the very south end of the space. Uh, I'm sitting on the latest floor in this space, which uh, actually this is a grey floor packing on top of which we had a beige color uh, floor surface which was removed in the uh, the cleaning, multiple cleanings of the surface. Uh, on top of this latest floor we have a feature 607 which is a niche that was built up in the west wall um, and this is the latest feature in this part of the building. This feature has been put in as well as the floor top floor. Okay. So I'm sitting on the latest floor and the latest floor did not exist in the entire uh, space 158 at this, uh, in the entire space, but existed only in this part of the space, in the southern part, because of the access to the niche that was um, uh, providing. In the central part of the 
Space 158, uh, I believe uh, there weren't any features at the time that were in use. Uh, in the northern part, we had a storage area with bins, but in the central part, we didn't find any features that were contemporaneous with the niche and were still in use. So under the uh, latest floor, what we have is uh, this orange packing made of um, um, orange clay, orangish clay, and uh, large fragments of the plaster, that broken plaster that belongs to the features that were most likely damaged in the collapse of the west wall. And that was used, and later on when the shoring of the west wall took place, then they used the remains of this plaster and bricks and um, used them for packing for the uh, gray floor. Under that, we can see um, another floor level, which belonged to uh, an earlier phase uh, in this house. And this is the level on which a lot of burning occurred. And we can see already here, by exposing a little bit of it, that there are very uh, burnt remains on it. So um, this is something that we will get to later. Um, when we remove the packing on top of it and when we remove the uh, latest floor in the space. Uh, the, the features that we had um, on the floor... No, I don't know that. We'll cut that out. Okay. The niche in the southwest corner of uh, uh, space 158, we have removed the top parts of the f of the niche by slicing it in several slices in order to digitize the curve with the help of uh, photography, digitize the curve and see how it was constructed. What we can see at this point, though, when we cleaned out uh, the, the, the plasters that, that were plastered on top of this, is that the main construction is made of number of bricks. This is one of them, this is another brick in various shapes. This is yet another brick and then we have this entrance part brick that went all the way up to here but during the excavation it was cut horizontally like that. So the niche is then uh, positioned into the corner and into uh, the west wall. This is the shoring and the late west wall that we have here which are meeting and it was positioned into that and then it was um, plastered with this yellowish plaster on top about one centimeter thick and this was going all the way up and curving into the ceiling of the niche. These are the um, parts of it that we have removed. And the niche is also on the floor that I talked about, the latest floor. That's its um, floor on which we found um, a rich fill uh, that con consisted of a lot of nuts and remains of fruits. And um, we're excavating um, down to this fill that has a floor on top of it. And we have this um, impression here, a phytolith that could be a basket. Over on this side, we also have the um, phytolith uh, impression coming out. And near that, we have another item that is un um, undetermined at this point, but we need to excavate it and see what it is. Could be a pot, could be a bone, I suppose. Oh, what could it be? What, what could, could it be? It be? You, can, you may speak for it. <laughs> so I'm just going to be excavating around it to see if I can determine a little bit more exactly what this thing is. Oh, it's looking. What is it? Such excitement. It's just an old brown thing. <laughs> it is right in, up into a um, animal. No, don't really dig any holes. What? What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Right, it's up into an animal run, so that makes it a little bit more difficult to figure it out. What's going on? Mm -hmm. so I can't tell if that's more fine left up there, so I think I'll just leave it. Okay. 
Monster, the last of 97 oh, seasons. Okay, now let's take a little bit of this one. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. Oh, it's much, it's much more sorry than I thought it mm. would. Maybe you shouldn't <laughs> photograph this. I have a feeling it's going to end in disaster. <laughs> you can always add it. <laughs> That's true. Okay, in the uh, kitchen here, in the south central part, Brooke has been cleaning. Removing the, uh, the control section. Uh huh, right. In, in order to extend the floors that we have, have on the other side. Right. Okay, and that we have gone through on the very east side of the kitchen because they were in such a bad shape that we actually couldn't get them mm. uh, because that's the most. That was the most uh, active area of the house. This is where the entrance was. Right. And so he's been focusing around um, south of feature 613. Getting on the, this floor level and trying to see how this oven fits with the floor. Okay. And you're standing in the ladder area. I'm standing in the ladder area. Right. Presumably it was here, something like that. Going up the... Yeah, I see. Great. And Anna's been working in the southeast corner on the same, coming at the ladder from the another direction, right? Right. And this is the feature 167. She's been removing the floors in this part, in the lower part. Actually, this feature got a new number now. Uh, what? And uh, uh, the number of the... We don't know we'll tell the diary tomorrow. tomorrow. Do tell the diary tomorrow. tomorrow. Exactly. <laughs> so the diary doesn't need to know today. Exactly. And so this is one nice... Yeah, it's very nice. Oh yes, yeah, she's talking about that. Dent. I know it's not dent, it's sort of elevated around the area. Uh huh. There was something she thought might have something to do with the ladder. Yes, this is, in this area, we have a feeling, uh, a packing feeling that's a different type uh, from the rest of the packing. And it's roundish, just like here, roundish. So the idea is that oh, right. they, they use this part of the platform as their ladder, one ladder uh, place, stand. Right. And then later on they moved it. packed it up and moved the ladder to here, something right. like that. In any case, that's different. The rest of the floors, we're just following going down. Right. Um, here in platform 170, we finished cleaning uh, down to the top of floor 6. And um, we tried to clean the western edge of the platform. It's really hard. We've got rather a pathetic try at this. But anyway, I'll show you. <laughs> Dear diary. <laughs> oh, I'm too near. <laughs> oh. Okay, here's our pathetic try, but that bulk is in completely in the way, but anyway. But one of the nice things that we can see here is this dark shadow of a possible, some kind of a pit, we hope, a cut. And, right, exactly. And then at the northern end, it's, um, at the northern end, this pit is, seems to be interrupted or something happens with the fill, the packing underneath the floor which is filled with um, debris from a <laughs> fireplace. And um, tomorrow I'll talk to you, Amir dear and I will diary, talk to you, dear diary, about the, uh, the new observations in the south, sec south profile of feature 602 in the corner, that post-retrieval pit. And as I was cleaning the west, west um, edge of platform 170 here, I noticed again this burned material right underneath the uh, floor six. It's the packing underneath for floor six. 
just like under the platform itself. And this uh, this is really interesting. We'll see what this what this stuff is coming from eventually. I hope. Okay. Anne Maria is back with us and was working in this central floor area today. If she got down to the level, floor level, that is the same as the floor level over here. Okay. And um, she has a, some sort of feature, a fire installation or similar feature on this floor that goes under the... Is that what those lines... That yeah, that belongs to it. Maybe two, two levels of floors doing mm. an angle. Oh, right. And they look like lines. And this in the corner is... Oh, that, that hole... Is that a, some kind of a fire installation? This, no, no this is our yeah. old one. Oh, right. This is the old fire installation. It was drawn and... Laura and um, the new Bashak drew the screen wall yeah. today on yeah, the face. Yeah, okay. Mira actually took some stuff off the top today. She trimmed her fringes. <laughs> and she doesn't know how to continue because it hardened <laughs> up so much. It's going to go probably uh, all in one big piece or three big pieces. What you should actually film is the wall. The, yes. That page is, has removed the plaster from the feature 622 and now he's drawing the bricks. So. Yeah, this is all happening at the northern end of Space 158, where we had another video discussion this morning because Mira had a new theory, very interesting one. I think it's brilliant and really makes sense of the whole space. Anyway, so as a result of that, we realized that this wall, plastered wall at the um, south, at the north end of Space 158 is in fact part of the shoring and not part of the original wall. For that reason, we've started to dis dismantle that page. It took away the plaster, as we can see here. We can see another wall, uh, latest floor, and mm -hmm. then packing, and then another floor down here mm. under all these features, which is all burnt, remains of burning. So this is probably the floor of the destruction. No, this is the set. There was another destruction on top of that. So that's in the um, southern end of Space 158. <laughs> Heidi's been working, and um, and she's been taking off this floor, and that's Mira's theory. We have a famous. Introduce yourself. Dilke Ma Wendrich. Oh, uh, my name is. My name is Dilke Wendrich, and I'm a basketry specialist. And I come here to look at a kind of basketry that I've never seen before. It's fitolith basketry. Uh -huh. uh, I'm used to working in Egypt where you have very dry circumstances, so there you can just pick up the pieces of basketry. Here you have to be very careful, you can't breathe. Ah. You oh. just get... Uh, yeah, the, the yeah. Yeah. silica uh, the remains. The silica impressions. So, the, so you just have these the white plants. traces. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. which you have to deal. Oh, I didn't know that was the difference. So in Egypt you actually get the real core. Oh yes, yeah. you yeah. get Advanced everything, basket. including, I mean, if it's in bad state, you lose the epiderm, mm -hmm. but usually you have the epiderm as well, because mm -hmm. that's what I usually use to, to identify the plant material. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so Vilika is going to be our new neighbor in UCLA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and so wait, Laurie and Vilika are so proud of their piece of basket that they found <laughs> in <laughs> feature 634. Sure, yes. Oh, the not sure basket. <laughs> the phytoliths, anyway. In this um, extend, uh, this new feature, possible uh, probable grave, yeah. Um, yeah, to the east of feature yeah, six one seven. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I so here's the phytolith. You can see it there under the um, under the lid of the grave pit yeah. in the grave fill. Yeah. And then more up in the wall here, next to this bone. And then we just found some over here. Mm. And is that bone, that bone is just in the fill or is it, it something to do? It looks as if it's in the fill, it looks as if it's in the animal um, run, but it's a little hard to tell. It's an ankle bone of a human, mm. but why it's there, we do not know. Curious. Curious. The bit of bone over there is anywhere. It looks like animal. Yeah. And a clay ball. But here we are at the, the bottom of that, um, of what would be the lid of whatever it is that goes underneath it. And here we can see in the profile the um, the sunken lid, and on top of that some yellow fill, and on top of that the plaster, 
um, of the floor, which again was not entirely the same as usual plaster, so it's got like two lids. This, um, this grave is in fact, uh, this whole platform is riddled with graves, we think, and so we're going to have a little discussion of that tomorrow, because this one, 617, probably the latest, this 634, uh, possibly next, and then, or oh, next earliest, and then uh, the earliest is something that we haven't even, we can only see on the surface, but we've probably been digging into, and maybe it's still down there under Villica's feet. So over in um, the grave, uh, the burial uh, feature 631, um, Tonya and Bashak has been drawing and uh, working well together today.